Hello, today I'm reviewing several new under eye concealers that I've been testing on my dry under eyes with dark circles. I'll show you how they apply, what they look like, give you the price breakdowns, and of course my full thoughts on each of these. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm really picky when it comes to correctors and concealers and what I put on my under eye area. So let's see how these new concealer releases stack up and if any of them might work for you. In addition to looking at these concealers for their coverage levels and the skin types they work best for, because I'm 48 years old, I also look at them from a mature skin perspective. For those of you who are 40 and over and dealing with fine lines and texture, of course, all of those issues, fine lines, texture, dryness, and dark circles can happen at any age, even if you're under 40. I'm always on the hunt to find those concealers that can tackle all of those issues effectively because there are so few out there. That's what these videos are all about. Also, if you think you're my concealer or foundation shade match twin, I keep running shade match lists of my foundations and concealers over on my blog. For you to reference, I'll have that link down in my description box and in my top pinned comment along with all the products I'm sharing today and what I'm wearing. So the first concealer I pulled out of my bag today, I'm just going at random, is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. It retails for $29 for 0.2 ounces, which breaks down to $36.25 per quarter ounce. I'm always surprised by the least and most expensive concealers per quarter ounce when we break them down that way in these videos. There are 22 shades. I'm in shade 160 light cool. It's a little light, a little too brightening, but I do make it work. It's vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, and fragrance-free, and is intended to be a multi-use concealer for both under the eyes and the face with buildable medium coverage and a natural finish that visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens. It has caffeine to reduce puffiness and dark circles. It also has fermented marine microorganisms to smooth skin with collagen-like stimulation and give a visibly tightening effect. And it's supposed to be crease-proof and long-wearing, but I always say this when it comes to crease-proof concealers. If your anatomy is prone to creasing like mine is right under the lash line, you will probably have to set in some way even the most crease-proof concealers. This has a thin texture that blends out easily, and I would say it's buildable from medium to full coverage and layers well, both over under eye corrector, if you wear a corrector under your concealer, and over itself if you want to build it. Now it is fragrance free, but there is a slight, slight faint scent that I picked up on when I put my nose right against the wand. It's something that's just naturally occurring in one of the ingredients. I don't notice it when I apply it or after it's on my face. This is pretty self-setting. If you're someone who is not crease prone, you can probably get away without setting this at all. If you're someone like me who regularly creases right here, I only needed the lightest dusting of powder, which was really nice. It almost has a cream to powder finish that settles into this smooth, flattering, soft matte finish on my most hydrated days. So I would say if you have normal to oily skin, that's probably what you'll get pretty consistently. If you have dry or mature skin, you might need to be a little bit careful with this. I just found most days when I wore this, it looked a little bit drier than what I like. I prefer a very hydrating, creamy concealer formula, and this is a little on the dry side. It doesn't get drier as the day goes on, which is nice. It just kind of starts out with that soft matte powdery type of finish and stays that way. Although it does feel lightweight and it lasts all day. If you're someone who finds NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer or the new Natasha Denona Concealer drying, I, I think you'll find this drying too. I love the feel, the coverage, and the longevity, but for my dry under eyes, this is not a favorite. I think for those of you with normal to oily texture under your eyes, it might be one you want to check out. This is Tower 28 Swipe All Over Hydrating Serum Concealer. It retails for $22 for 0.22 ounces, which breaks down to $25 per quarter ounce. There are 20 shades. I'm in shade 4.0 DTLA, which is light with medium cool undertones. It's a vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and alcohol-free. This is designed to be another multi-purpose concealer for under your eyes and on your face, and it's supposed to give a natural 
skin like finish with medium buildable coverage that's weightless and doesn't cling to dry patches. They also designed it with some really nice ingredients to be a serum concealer that's non irritating and works well for sensitive skin. So it has hyaluronic acid, which keeps your under eye area looking smooth and supple and bouncy. It's got lysine to support collagen production and repair and prevent dryness. It also has centella as sciatica leaf extract to soothe and calm sensitive skin. So I just put this in another video talking all about how much I love it. I thought that video was gonna come out before this one, but it's probably my next video. So I just will go ahead and say it. I adore this concealer. It has a very fluid consistency that blends out easily both on the face and under your eyes. And I would say it builds from medium to almost full coverage depending on whether you wear a corrector underneath it or if you layer it. It feels extremely lightweight and hydrating and has a natural smooth flattering finish no matter if I'm wearing it medium coverage or almost full coverage. It's versatile for everyday light makeup or full makeup days. There's no scent whatsoever. It's very creamy, it's very hydrating, and it's pretty self-setting too. So I only need a light dusting of powder. It's just beautiful and flattering and comfortable all day long. I think this is one that is perfect for anyone of any age with any skin type that gives you versatile coverage for various makeup looks. I fell in love with this almost right away and I just keep reaching for it. Armani reformulated their Power Fabric Concealer and I've heard nothing about this. I don't know if they didn't announce it or what, but the old formula was one of my favorite natural everyday concealers that was just pretty versatile for any occasion. It wasn't so skin-like that you couldn't dress it up, but it was still very natural and buildable. So let's take a look at the reformulation and see where it stands. It retails for $40 for 0.2 ounces, which breaks down to $50 per quarter ounce. There are 18 shades. I purchased the same shade in the reformulation that I had before, which is shade 3.5 light neutral. And I I think you can see a slight difference in the tube. The new version is in the frosted tube, the old is in the shiny tube. And on the back of my hand here, the reformulation on your left is slightly lighter than the old formula. So that is something to note, although this is a pretty old tube. It's past its prime. So I guess it could have darkened over the years. I'm not sure about that. But this 3.5 is, I would say, half a shade lighter than this 3.5. This new formula is supposed to be a full coverage soft matte concealer that lasts up to 24 hours and has glycerin for hydration. I looked to see what the main difference was, what exactly they reformulated, and I couldn't find the specifics. It may be the glycerin for hydration, but the application is pretty much the same. It's very fluid and it blends out extremely quickly and easily. And I would say the coverage is buildable from medium up to full, depending on whether you wear a corrector or whether you layer it. It gives a very smoothing, flattering, soft matte finish. It feels very lightweight and lasts all day. I needed a minimal amount of setting powder. Now this is alcohol and fragrance free, but there is a paint scent when you pull this out of the tube and while you're applying it. Now I don't notice it once it's applied, once my makeup's done, my eyes aren't bothered or anything like that, but I notice it as I'm applying it. That didn't happen with this old version. I don't know what it is, but it's there. That is really the main difference in these two. Aside from that scent, this, is pretty spot on. This is a reformulation I actually don't mind because quality wise, this remains a really nice natural everyday concealer that's flattering, I think across all skin types and is versatile for various occasions, but definitely keep that scent in mind. This is Makeup Forever HD Skin Smooth and Blur Concealer. It retails for $29 for 0.17 ounces, which breaks down to $42.65 per quarter ounce. 
There are 20 shades. The shade that I have is 2.0 R Wheat, which is described as neutralizing under eye discoloration with bluish undertones in light to medium skin tones. It's vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol, and fragrance-free. This is designed to be a feather light, medium buildable coverage concealer that smooths, brightens, and corrects with a real skin finish and up to 24 hour wear. It's also a skincare inspired formula. It has jojoba oil to help hydrate and hyaluronic acid and snow mushroom that also hydrate and plump and smooth. There are also soft focus powders that blur and plump the look of fine lines and coated pigments to color correct. This has a thin gel-like consistency that blends out very easily. I would say the coverage of this is light medium to medium at best, which is what they claim. They claim this is a medium coverage concealer. This first clip I'm showing you the concealer over a light layer of corrector and you can see compared to the other side, there's just not as much coverage there. I do need to add a second layer. And after my makeup is done, it's fine. It just does not have the coverage that I feel like I need with my dark circles and the hollows underneath my eyes. Here's another typical day when I was testing with no corrector underneath. I definitely need corrector under this, which isn't unusual, but I feel like I still only get medium coverage even when I'm using a corrector. There is zero scent to this. It feels extremely lightweight and hydrating and has a natural real skin undetectable finish that lasts well throughout the day. But I don't love the coverage. I always have to add a second layer, not just where I have the most darkness in the hollows of my tear troughs, but pretty much the entirety of my under eye dark circle area. Because this has such a beautiful skin-like undetectable natural finish. I think this can work really well across all skin types, especially dry and mature skin, where it's more of a struggle to find concealers that are more undetectable and flattering and wear well throughout the day. So if you have moderate dark circles or if texture is more important to you than coverage, I think that's where this falls in. It has a beautiful texture and finish with medium coverage, which is great for those of you with moderate circles who don't want to look like you're wearing concealer. Next, we have the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow 4-in-1 Perfecting Pen Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. It retails for $29 for 0.12 ounces, which breaks down to $60.42 per quarter ounce. There are 26 shades. The shade that I am holding is shade L10N, which is described as level one, light with neutral undertone. I also picked up L20N, which is level two, light with neutral undertone. I think both of these neutral undertones are very yellow toned and they only had neutral and warm undertones. So we ended up with neutral. I much prefer a cool or neutral undertone for my under eye area. It just looks way more flattering than yellow on me personally. So this is vegan and cruelty free, also alcohol and fragrance free. This is a four in one clickable pen. You twist it up from the bottom and I already wasted product. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. This is supposed to be lightweight and buildable so that you can conceal, correct, highlight, or contour. And it's supposed to be a hydrating primer infused formula that's great for all skin types with medium buildable coverage to withstand caking, creasing, or settling for up to 24 hours. It's also supposed to be water resistant, humidity resistant, sweat resistant. And among some of the hydrating ingredients, we have hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, green tea, and ginseng. Because of how this is designed, you really do have to be careful how much you click it up because there is going to be some product waste. I find a lot clicks up even when you don't want it to. So you kind of have to be careful. The application is nice. It blends out really easily, but it does set quickly. So I do advise working with just one eye at a time. I would say the coverage is light medium to around medium full, depending on whether or not you use a corrector. There is no scent and the finish is pretty radiant before I set it. And I do have to set this down. Even though it sets quickly, I do crease with it fairly quickly as I'm doing my makeup. So I do need to set it down. Now the coverage lasts throughout the day, but it does settle into some fine lines during the day. 
Now it feels lightweight, but it kind of feels a little tight and drying on me, which is kind of surprising with all the hydrating ingredients that are in here. I like a lot of products from Smashbox, but this is a disappointment for me. It was disappointing from the beginning with the neutral shades being so yellow toned. And I think it's expensive for the small amount you get and the amount of waste that the product design causes. And I mean, I guess if you have moderate circles and no dryness at all, it would be fine. But I just feel like there are more hydrating concealers on the market with medium coverage that are better. So this was kind of a fail for me. I couldn't wait for this concealer release because of how much I love the foundation. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Hydrating Concealer. It retails for $32 for 0.24 ounces, which breaks down to $33.33 per quarter ounce. There are 31 shades. I grabbed two. I got 11 light neutral and four fair neutral because when you do the shade match thing on the website, they give you a shade that's your skin tone so that you can use it on your face and then one to brighten. Four was the shade to brighten, but the one for my face was a little bit deeper than 11. So I went a little bit lighter to be able to use it underneath my eyes. I like to go a little bit lighter than my skin tone under my eyes. So this is vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, and fragrance-free, and is a lightweight, long-wearing concealer that blurs, depuffs, and brightens with fermented arnica to reduce redness and irritation, niacinamide to brighten and boost hydration, and a hyaluronic acid complex that plumps and hydrates. This has a somewhat thick creamy consistency that blends out really easily and quickly, but it does set quickly. So I do recommend working one eye at a time. You'll see me applying shade 11 first and then brightening and my darkest parts with shade four. I would say this gives medium buildable coverage that for me and my dark circles with hollows does need to be layered or need a corrector underneath. There is no scent to this at all. It feels very lightweight and hydrating. The finish of this is beautiful, smoothing, natural, and skin-like, and pretty self-setting. I think you're really going to love this if you don't need to set your under eye area, if you're not prone to creasing. I only need the teeny tiniest amount of setting powder right under my lash line. It's really made to not set. It's made to be self-setting and looks its best when you don't set it. And it wears well all day. This one is tricky for me. I kept wanting to like it because the finish was so beautiful when I would not set it or when I would just set it just directly under my lash line. But then I would look at myself later and think I looked really tired or I would see myself on film or a picture I took for Instagram or something and I just could see the dark circles. I could see the tear troughs and I realized it just didn't have quite enough coverage for me, although it has more coverage than the Make It Forever I talked about earlier. I think the true beauty of this comes out when you don't have to set it. So if you do well with light to medium up to almost medium full coverage concealers that are self-setting, I think you could really like this. I just wish it had a little bit more coverage. Let's discuss the new Gucci concealer in this beautiful tube. This is the Gucci Concentré de Beauté Multi-Use Crease Proof and Hydrating Concealer. It retails for $47 for 0.27 ounces, and that breaks down to $43.52 per quarter ounce. There are 40 shades. I am in shade 25N, fair medium with neutral undertones. It is alcohol and fragrance free, just like every other concealer in this video. So this is supposed to be beautiful for all skin types and give medium to full coverage with a breathable natural finish. It has black rose oil and hyaluronic acid to soothe and hydrate, camellia flower to smooth the under eye skin, and film formers that help give a blurring effect and a natural looking glow and to help the coverage stay in place. This is very thin and blends out easily and quickly. Now that medium to full coverage claim I wholeheartedly disagree with. In my opinion, as someone with dark circles, this gives medium coverage at best that needs a corrector underneath or layering and even with a corrector and layering, 
I still don't get full coverage. I can still kind of see my dark circles underneath. It looks natural and smoothing and is pretty self-setting, but can look a little dry because it kind of similar to the Makeup by Mario earlier, it settles into kind of a, a powdery finish that can kind of crease on me during the day. And although it feels lightweight, I don't notice a hydrating feel from it. Now remember earlier when I was talking about the Makeup by Mario concealer and I mentioned that faint scent that wasn't bothersome. It was really, really faint from some kind of ingredient in the concealer. Even though it's fragrance-free, there's no added fragrance, this has a, a similar situation going on. It's very similar, just a very, very faint scent I notice when I'm very, very close to the wand not bothersome. Some people may not even notice it, but I did want to mention it. Keep in mind, I'm testing this on my dry under eyes with dark circles that have texture and fine lines. If you don't need as much hydration, if you have minimal dark circles and minimal dryness, if you have oily to normal skin, you may really like this because the finish was really pretty. I just don't think this is ideal for those of you like me that have dark circles and dry under eyes. I'm still working on my top concealers for mature skin video. New concealers keep coming out that are contenders to be in that video. So I won't keep testing concealers. I don't wanna leave anything out, but it needs to be done. I guess that's why I need to update it every year. Have you tried any of these? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? And what's your under eye situation? Let me know in the comments down below. And to see my latest foundation reviews, be sure and check this video out here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.